just finished making this book. It is a prototype for a new design that a customer actually suggested to me. It's a mix of watercolor paper and dotted writing paper. And um, I think it's for people who want to um, both paint and bullet journal in one. It's a little shorter than my dotted writing journal. This is the size of my dotted writing journal, so it's about an inch shorter, which I quite like because it's um, a little boxier. And I tried to make it nice and thick. So there are 10 sheets of writing paper within um, two pages of watercolor paper. Coptic books are really ideal for painting because they lie flat easily. And there are eight signatures in total. So that would be 80 writing pages and 16 watercolor pages. This is gonna go off to the customer who suggested it so that they can review it and let me know if they like the design. If they like it, I'll probably make more and list it on my shop. So here's what my desk looks like right now. I am preparing the pages for all the sketchbooks and watercolor books. And I'm also in the process of printing dotted paper for all my journals. So I'll start with um, all of the Coptic books first and then I will um, make the Instax albums later. Seeing these huge colorful stacks of covers makes me excited to put on a sale in October. All the designs for these covers I got before 2021 and so I will be probably um, selling these books at a discount. I rarely do sales at all because the time it takes to make books is a lot and when I do the math it's quite hard to justify discounts um, but I really do want to clear my inventory and get these books out there so I'm really going to hype up these books for October and then in November I will probably be making another batch of books with more current papers and new papers as well I'm going to get back to counting paper and preparing the pages, so I'll probably be folding paper all day.
All right, so a lot of the books have their pages in there. We have, I'm trying to point my finger here. Um, so we have mixed media sketchbooks. We have some watercolor down here. I have ordered more watercolor paper. We have our dotted journals here and I'm in the process of printing more dotted paper for the rest of these covers. It's been a while since my desk has been this full of books, or soon to be books. Today is binding day. I have all these books to bind. It's going to take more than a day, but we'll see how much I get through. While I'm binding, I will provide an update about how I'm doing lately and what I've been up to. There's a knot in my hair. I ate ice cream in bed last night and some of it fell on my hair. I'll be starting with this dotted journal. I'm happy that fall is here, even though summer in Vancouver never feels like enough. I love September in Vancouver because um, the weather is mild and there is still quite a bit of sunshine and um, it's really nice to see the leaves turn. One of my favorite things to do is step on crunchy leaves. I find that sound so satisfying. Lately I've been feeling overwhelmed. I feel like I've been climbing up the stress ladder with all these little things without realizing that I've climbed too high. For most of my adult life, I've filled it with so much work that I was probably in a constant state of stress and overwhelm. So it's hard to identify when I've gone too far or when I need to stop. I really need to be in tune with my body to know. And when I fill my schedule with a lot of things, I don't have that space. So that's what happened this week. I feel a little out of whack and um, that's why I'm glad that I am binding all day today because it's just one task. I am focusing and um, it relaxes me. I talked about potentially being bored in my last vlog and I've kind of inadvertently been searching for a way to um, address that boredom or address, you know, my lack of understanding of what my creative process is and I think what will always work for me is just letting things emerge and following what inspires me. This week I heard an interview of a not artist that I came across when I was in San Francisco. Her name is Wendy or Wendy and she creates these massive not art pieces. I think she gets commissioned by architects and like interior designers of these huge spaces and she creates these um, amazing installations. What I took away from that conversation was how well she can talk about her process and how deeply and thorough she can talk about it. Um, to be honest, I've been, I guess, intimidated by the bookbinding world and I don't really know how to talk about it. I don't feel like I have authority or the expertise or experience to um, 
really speak thoroughly about bookbinding. The conversation really made me want to listen to artists speak more and they're just like constantly challenging themselves to learn and um, she talked about like gaining fluency in the craft. For instance, in her context, um, she spent a year learning new knots. So with the knowledge and practice of new knots and skills, she's able to add so much more to her art pieces. So I want to gain more fluency in bookbinding. The other thing that she talked about was being in a flow state. So I've thought about this too, and I love being immersed in a project. I'm sure you felt it before um, when you're so immersed in a project that nothing else really matters. You're so zoned in, you feel motivated and inspired. You don't feel like you need to distract yourself while you're working on the art. And lately I have been needing to put on Netflix or to put on a podcast so that I can complete these repet repetitive tasks of um, folding and gluing and binding. I really do value uh, repetition and learning through repetition. Like now I can probably bind a book with my eyes closed, but I won't do that. <laughs> Even after I've bound like hundreds of books, I'm still making little tweaks that will strengthen the binding or um, improve the longevity of the paper. I guess I just want to find more of a balance of um, feeling like I'm in a flow and um, being okay with distracting myself sometimes to um, get through monotonous tasks. Sometimes I have this nagging feeling that there's something so much bigger that I'm going to create and I'm going to venture into and I don't know what that is yet. I feel like something happens when I start searching and I start to wonder, you know, what's next for me or... Um, what else can I create and put out there? And I've really enjoyed being in the space of not knowing and being in a place where I can receive, whether it be inspiration or collaboration or um, just letting things and ideas emerge within me. So yeah, it really feels like my creative process is cyclical. I'm not actually getting very much done by talking to you all, so I'm going to switch angles so you can watch me bind, and I hope you enjoy watching me make books.